Hi guys, it's me and welcome back to my channel. Today's hashtag um squad shoutouts go out to Healy C. Almonsar, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Taylor K, and finally Kishi. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you would like a chance to get a future shoutout in one of my next videos, don't forget to comment down below hashtag um squad. Also, if you would like to get notifications whenever I upload a new video, don't forget to subscribe down below and click the notification bell. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a slow rising paper squishy. I have did two other tutorials on how to do this. However, both of those methods use different ways to make a paper squishy. And I discovered a new way to do it and I hope this helps you. I actually made this during Valentine's Day. I was going to film it, however, I decided not to. And as you can see, it's very slow rising, considering it's a paper squishy at least. Sorry, my camera is not focusing. So I already made the outline of the squishy, which is where you essentially sketch it out, draw it, and color it in. As you can tell, I made an Oreo packaging. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see, but this is what it looked like after I drew it and then colored in the outside part. And then after you draw it out and then you're going to color it in. You can choose to do the back. I just did a simple design on the back, which says nutrition facts and then that barcode. And then you're going to tape over it, making sure that you leave one side open. And yes, you can use paper that you did already print or draw on before. Just make sure that stays on the inside. You can go back and watch my other two tutorial videos on how to draw it and tape over it. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stuff it and make it slow rising. So the first thing you want to have is a bag of some sort. You can use a grocery bag. And I just used ones that were already ripped because you're eventually going to have to rip it up. Next, you want to put some stuffing inside. And yes, my stuffing is brown. I don't know why. But basically, you're going to make a, the shape of your paper squishy. If it is one that is a bit difficult to get an exact shape when you mold this bag into the shape, you're going to want to just make a simple circle, square, or just an easy basic shape. Now what you're going to do is fold it into the shape that you are trying to get. And I did cut off the excess. You're not going to tape it down. Making sure that your stuffing is enclosed in a bag, you're going to stuff it inside of your paper squishy. You're going to want a little space. Then what you're going to do is tape up the side that you just finished putting the stuffing in. And then go through and if you see any like air where air is escaping, you're going to take the tape and just go over it. And once you do that, you can also squish it along the way to make sure it's your desired slow risingness I guess and here's how it turned out so I hope this video helped you but anyways that's all I have for today's video don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video with all your friends and family see you next time bye